Well, good afternoon. This is Pastor Duane of New Life Christian Fellowship. Although we normally uh, do all this over at the church, where uh, since you can see that I'm a, in a wheelchair, a little incapacitated right now, been a kind of a long journey since the 22nd of December. So I'm not real agile and mobile right now. So I'm grateful for Brother Ted, who has the technology and the equipment to just come to the house here. And so I'm sitting in the wheelchair and at the house, but we're still having coffee over the coffee cup. I want to talk to you today for a little while on the spirit of adoption. This word adoption only appears in Romans, Galatians, and Ephesians. And, but Paul is the one speaking of it, and if anybody could understand adoption, I, I believe he could. You know, adoption means a lot to me. I am an, a very strong advocate of adoption. I have, all together, I have three children that are adopted. I have one that's not adopted, natural birth. And then I have three children, you, we, you, the world calls them stepchildren, but they're all the same. So what it amounts to, it, it's, it's, you put it all together and mix about seven, I think, if you count correctly. And, uh, but anyway, out of that are the three adopted. And I never think of them in any, uh, I don't think of them as adopted. They're mine. They belong to me. To me meaning family. To Susie and I. Uh, because we're a family. And uh, I was blessed some time back when all of them were here at the same time. In fact, I have a picture over there on the buffet that has all seven of them there at the same time. And uh, so that's, that's a real blessing to me. And so I, as I was reading my devotion for the day, I found this scripture, which I knew was there, of course, because I've read it before, but I was thinking, you know, I'm going to be doing an over the coffee cup segment. And so that would make a great uh, subject to consider today. So in the book of Romans, it appears three times, but I'm only choosing one of them. It's in the eighth chapter of Romans, verse 15, where it says, we have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Now, this thing with adoption means, let's talk about it in the natural first. Okay. Whether the adoption occurred when they were first born or later on, it makes no difference because once they're adopted, they're a part of the family forever, forever. That's what makes it wonderful. You, they refer to, to you as dad, mom, family, brothers, sisters, etc. In the spirit world, it's even stronger than that, because it says we can address God. 
the creator of heaven and earth who put the stars out there. I was reading something about the stars that just really blessed me. Technology is such that they can record the sound of the stars as they go through the sky in movement. That all of the elements, the stars, the sun, the moon, everything, it is giving uh, off a harmonious praise to God. And so when we are adopted into God's family, then we can begin to address God as our father, dad. He's my dad. And I had a fabulous earthly father. I loved him dearly. I, I never called him anything but my dad and my father. And, and when, when he got old and he was in a rest home, whatever, I delighted in going to visit him, taking him to the uh, local coffee shop or whatever. And it was a, there was a tie, there was a bond there. And, and, and I, would, I remember when I would leave there, he would say to me, if I don't see you here, I'll see you over there. The bond was there. Well, when I came into the family of God, when I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, when I took him on, immediately, I, it was predestined, man, from the beginning of time. God's whole purpose was to bring us mankind into relationship so that we could say Abba Father so we could look to him as our helper and as our guide I don't care how old you get my, my children some of them, I don't care what, what their age is and if they need help and I can help them I'm going to help them because they belong to me. Be it were adopted, whether through marriage, through whatever, they're mine. And, and I want to do that because there's a bond there. Well, Abba, Father. It says, we've not been brought, we've been, it's not a bond, spirit of bondage. Bondage keeps us in fear. Bondage makes us afraid of God. I have respect for my father, but I'm not afraid of him. I have respect for my earthly father. I respect him highly, but I wasn't afraid of him. Did he correct me? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Did he spank me? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But he did that because he wanted me to grow up and be successful and and follow the precepts of the father god abba father so we have we're not in that spirit we're not that's that's not what we're into but we're into a spirit of adoption so we've been brought in so now i walk in liberty you know it's wonderful to know him this spirit of adoption is for real. And so I challenge you out there watching this program today. If you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, find time today to say, Lord, I love you. Please forgive me. And he's ready to receive you. He's ready to adopt you to make you a joint heir, the Bible says, with Jesus Christ. I challenge you. Adoption is wonderful. It's fabulous. And I'm glad that I understand it and I have experienced it personally and been able to exercise it as well. Have a great day. This is Pastor Dwayne saying, Lord bless you. 
We hope you enjoyed this week's Over the Coffee Cup devotional. Join us each Wednesday for a midweek pick-me-up. And don't forget to visit New Life Christian Fellowship on the web at www.nlcfg2.com.